In this video, I'll be working through the question you see on the screen from paper two of the 2024 Leave and Cert Ordinary Level exam. If you are looking for a different question from this paper, you should find a link to a playlist in the description below. I'll be doing all this on a whiteboard, hopefully so it's similar to what you're used to your teacher doing in the classroom. But remember, this isn't a classroom, we're on YouTube, so take advantage of that. Use the pause button, rewind, fast forward, watch it in high speed or slow speed, whatever helps you out. And if you do find this video or any of my videos useful, I would appreciate like, subscribe, all that stuff. What really helps out the channel the most is though, sharing it with someone that might find it useful. Question six seems to be all about triangles. Uh, in part A, they ask us about construction. Uh, they ask us to construct a bisector of the angle X, Y, Z. So this angle in here, um, using only a compass and a straight edge. Now I don't have a compass, so I'm gonna, we'll have to use our imagination, but I'll show you a rough, I'll show you how it should be done. My answer won't be exact though. Okay, so uh, let me go over which angle it was again. They said angle X, Y, Z. So remember, that's important how they say it. Angle X, Y, Z. It means it's this angle in here. If they said angle X, Z, Y, X, Z, Y, that'd be in here. So it's it just, first of all, that's important. It's the middle letter tells you the angle or the direction, X, Y, Z. Of course, Z, Y, X is also this angle. Okay, so we're gonna have to bisect this. That means there's an angle here. Let's, let's make it up, it's 45 degrees. They want us to draw a line in the middle. So if it's 45, they want to draw a line 22 and a half angle. Uh, so how do we do that? We get a compass, we get any length you want on the compass, but try and make sure it hits both of these lines. So we get a length of the compass, I'd say about here, we mark it off, and then we come down same length, we mark here. So these two lengths should be the same. First thing we do. Again, we get a compass, usually you just keep the same length, but any length will do, once it's long enough to reach the middle. Uh, any length will do, you get some length here, and we'll mark off, same compass, same length, get it off it, and mark it off. This point is perfectly in the middle, so if we draw a line, this line will bisect that angle perfectly. And that's the answer to A part one. For A part two, they say hence construct the in-center of a triangle, um, X, Y, Z. So this triangle, they want the in-center. Now, uh, there's multiple centers for triangles. Uh, let me just draw a quick triangle. The in-center is the one that hits all the sides of the triangle. Remember, there's, there's other ones, and uh, God, I can't remember. There's, there's three of them, I just can't remember the names of them. Anyway, the in-center one they want uh, the one that looks like that, you find that by bisecting the angles. So we've already done one. For part two, they just want us to bisect one of the other angles. And where the lines meet, that's the in center. So I'll just do this one here. We'll get a, a compass, mark off, mark off, get a compass, mark off, mark off, and uh, that's the center. That's the in center, that point there. Now, obviously my drawing is not the best, but if you drew it correctly, if you find the shortest distance to a side, it should hit all the, all the sides. It should be perfectly inside the circle. They didn't ask you to draw the circle, but they, they just want this point. They just want the two bisected angles. And uh, that was it for part A. Uh, for part B, they draw us a different triangle here, or two triangles, um, a triangle, a big triangle and a smaller triangle inside it. Uh, they have them all labeled here, A, B, C, and A, D, E. They tell us that the larger triangle is an image of the smaller one. So they've basically taken the small one and stretched it, and it's become the bigger one. Um, and they've given us some lengths here. Now, just with these lengths and that piece of information, you can fill in every number you want on this. Sometimes I like to do that at the start of a question, um, and then they just ask me to do it, and I just have the answers all ready to go. But let's do it the order they've asked. So they start off by asking, use BC, this length here, and DE, this length here, 
to get the scale factor. They even tell you the answer. They tell you the answer is 3.5. But use these two to find that answer. Well, basically they're asking how much bigger than four is 14? What did you have to multiply four by to get 14? So uh, I guess you can write that like this, four X equals 14. Or you could just uh, divide both sides by four here, X equals 14 over four. Or you could have just row 14 divided by four. Uh, put that in the calculator, you get 3.5. <coughs> which is clearly the answer they wanted because they already told you the answer was 3.5. Um, so this big tri triangle is 3.4 times bigger than the small one. For part two, uh, they remind us that AC is six units long. They want us to use the scale factor to find the distance from CE. Now straight away, some students might just go six uh, multiplied by 3.5 is equal to 21. That's not the answer. I am going to use this though. It is not the answer. They ask you for CE. Multiplying this by 3.5 gives you this length, AE. AE is equal to 21. This entire length here is equal to 21. So what's this length in here? Well, it's just 21 minus 6, and that's 15. 15 is the answer. The length from C to E is 15. Um, and then the final question, part 3. This is a bit tricky, this one. They tell you the area of the small triangle is 11. What's the area of the big triangle? Again, a lot of students might just think, well, multiply it by 3.5. There's a problem there. And we can test that problem. Let's just do a couple of examples here. Let's do a normal triangle, two, two width, two height. And a bigger triangle, let's go three times bigger. Six by six. What's the area of these two triangles? Well, it's half the base by the height. So half of two is one times two. The area of this guy is two. And again, remember this guy's three times bigger. Six is three times bigger than two, six is three times bigger than two. What's the area of this guy? Half the base, three times the height is 18. That's not three times bigger. That is in fact uh, nine times bigger. Or it's three bigger this way, three bigger that way, three times three is nine. And that's how these scaling factors work. You can do multiple examples, you'll still get the similar answer. Uh, the same answer, um, it'll be the square of the factor. If it's three this way, it's three this way. And that's because this is two dimensions. We scaled it three x in one dimension and another dimension, we need to do both. So if this was 11, um, the new one would be 3.5 times 3.5 bigger, or 3.5 squared. And if you put all that into a calculator, I get 134.75. And that's the answer to the last part of question six. If you have any follow-up questions, please let me know. I'll do my best to get back to you. Thanks for watching and have a good day.